What's up everyone, this is Seth with PageMaker and today I'm going to be walking through our dashboard. The first thing you'll notice when you log in is a list of all your campaigns. Each campaign has specific settings and you'll notice when you hover over a campaign, you're able to click into them. Inside your campaign settings, you're going to see all your different options. The first thing you're going to see is all the different pages you have. If you have a landing page, there'll only be one page. If you have a website, you'll be able to see all your different pages here. Underneath, you'll be able to see your analytics. This is going to show you all the different views, your conversion rates, your form submissions, and so forth. Underneath, you're going to be able to see your form entries. So if you are collecting leads, we store them for you online that you could export easily after in one single click. Underneath here is your settings. With your settings, you're able to change your site name, your site description, and your favicon. Each campaign has global colors and global fonts. This is where you preset all your different colors and palette that will be shown in the editor. And to change colors, it's very simple. You click here on the icon and you have different options as to adding RGP, HSL, or hex. This is where you change your global colors and they will show in the editor. And it's the same format with the fonts. We use the Google font API and there are over a thousand different pair options. From here, you set your fonts and they'll preset inside of your editor. Underneath is your template page. In PageMaker, once you've selected a template, you're able to change it afterwards. This is where you would go to change your template. You're able to change it by just clicking on select. You could also sort through different uh, landing pages based on categories. PageMaker also gives users the ability to use custom JavaScript or CSS. Uh, the JavaScripts could be something like a custom pixel or tracking code, and the CSS could be something that could help you animate your button or other different elements. The sky is definitely the limit. Underneath are the plugins. We have native plugins. These are plugins that you can add to your page very simply. Uh, right now we have Facebook, Google Analytics, and Google Tag Manager. Very soon we'll be adding more. And these are native in quick ways. So for example, if I wanted to add my Facebook pixel, I would click on here and just paste in my Facebook pixel ID and PageMaker will automatically go independent to your page. Underneath is where you see your domains. Now, PageMaker provides you with a free domain and free hosting, but you can also upload a custom domain. When you upload your custom domain, you're able to select it from this drop down here. We also have a sitemap feature that we recently launched. And the reason you don't see anything now is because I don't have a custom domain set up. If you have a custom domain set up and you want it to be indexed on Google, this is where you would go to generate your sitemap URL. In one click, we'll send you the URL and you'll be able to go and upload it to your Google Search Console. Lastly, we have the export option. So if you want to export your website or if you want to export your landing page, you head on over to here and you're able to export everything in one click and you could put it on, you could put your page onto your hosting or you can add it to your WordPress. Again, so many different possibilities. So that, so that is all the um, settings that are page specific inside a campaign. Once we go back to the dashboard, you'll also notice here on the left-hand side, we have domains and integrations. When you click on here on your domain, you're gonna see a list of all your domains that are verified and not verified. These are the domains that you have added. To add a new one, just click here top right, and we have a wizard that walks you through how it works. If you wanna see it more visual, head on to our YouTube, and we have different videos showing you how to add domains. Underneath, we have our integrations. PageMaker has integrations to help you connect to more apps and automate your business. As of right now, we have apps for your email clients, your CRMs, and for automated apps like Zapier, Integrately, and Connexies. We also have webhooks. So no matter what app you're using, almost 100% you're gonna be able to integrate them with PageMaker, either through a native app like MailChimp or Zap or, or um, you know, get response or by using an app like Zapier to find another connection. Depending on the tier or uh, plan you're on, PageMaker also has workspaces. So you'll notice here if I click on my workspace, I'm able to see all my different workspaces. And this is good for agencies or for customers that want to organize. 
I have my workspaces broken down into different uh, uh, clients. So I have clients for vacation properties. I have clients for assignments, clients for listings. You could do this based on team members. You could do this based on clients. And the way it works is if let's just say you have a client that wants access to their landing pages, you can create a workspace for them and invite them. And then they'll be able to see all their information here. Or maybe you're a big marketing agency and you want to organize all the different campaigns or verticals you're working on. You can create a different workspace and organize you know, all your e-commerce landing pages um, from all your lead generation landing pages. Underneath that, we have our roadmap. When you click on that, it's going to head out externally and show you our roadmap, which we are updating every week. Here, you'll be able to see what's um, being planned, what's in development, and what has been shipped and is now live. Under that, we have our inline widget that sends you all the updates that you need to know. These updates are um, also clickable, so when you click into any of these ones, it's going to send you to a page with more information. So when you're, whenever you're on PageMaker, please do look out for these. Uh, you'll notice there'll be a notification bubble, and that's how you kind of stay up to date with all the new things that we're doing. So that's pretty much how it works for the PageMaker dashboard. If you have any questions, if any suggestions, if you think there are ways we can, can improve, let us know, and we will get onto it as soon as possible. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will be back again shortly with another one. Thank you.